Hi everybody and welcome to my 2022 guitar project. I've always loved the Van Halen Frankenstrat guitar design. It's iconic, it's classic and I've always wanted one. The big sticking point is I can't afford to buy you know, a PV1 or an EVH1 so I've decided to bite the bullet and make one myself with this as the Dorna guitar. I've got this Yamaha off eBay for £50. And you know what? It's not that bad. It's, pretty, it's a pretty nice guitar. I've got from eBay £50 from a guy five miles away. So, pr a pretty good bargain. I'm aiming this project to come in as under £100. Will it work? I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. But just before I started doing things with the guitar, Very bad, very, very, very bad attempt at the Van Halen brown sound. Uh, this instrument's pretty good, to be honest. Let's change. Let's change the setting. <laughs> That's enough of that. I've hurt, I've hurt my finger. <laughs> it's really sore, so I'm very limited to what I can play. You, you don't really want to be, listen to me playing the guitar anyway. But anyway, 50 quid, it's Yamaha. I was just going to spray it, but I've got a little bit over, a bit carried away. Got some kind of Floyd Rose. It's official, I'm, it's official, I'm sure. Trem for there. I was going to leave the pickups, but I've decided to take the single coil and the humbucker out and fill this, disconnect the toggle switch, disconnect the tone and just have a volume switch. The challenge is going to be with the locking nut. The profile of the neck goes really down. So I've got a, a metal shim. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see if I can drill it into the bolt it into the neck. Then I'm going to put epoxy resin under it. I've got some milliput epoxy resin that I've used for railway modelling and it, it sets as hard as iron it re really is good stuff and then the locking nut above it how it will turn out i dread to think these pickups i'm going to keep might do another project one day don't know yet but yeah wish me luck everybody i am using car paint for this because it's cheaper uh, i'll give a full rundown of the prices when I've got through it, if at the end of the day the guitar doesn't work, as long as it looks good, it will hang on my wall and you know for fifty pounds. But I, I you know, I, I like to look after guitars, so even though I'm torturing this, I do want it so I can play. And that's why I got the hammer, the Yamaha instead of some kind of real, real nasty strat with all rough frets. The build quality of this is pretty nice it's okay a bit grotty a bit dirty when i got it it was in tune and looking at reviews of these online they're staying tuned like mad so it, it is going to be a pity to cannibalize it but hopefully the end result will look great so i'm going to keep you updated on my progress Again, wish me luck. I've never done anything before. But also, wish me luck with the soldering because I hate soldering, and I had a bit of a, a bit of an unfortunate accident the last time I did it where I was doing it on the table. And I kicked the soldering iron off. I reached out and grabbed it, and there was a head-shaped hole in the ceiling when I went ah. <laughs> yeah, so soldering is not something I like, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come. So thanks for watching, everybody. Wish me luck.